solve the septic equation, where, x is a real number. This is the given equation. We label it as equation 1. By the rational root theorem, if the equation has a rational root, x equals p over q, then p must be an integer factor of the constant term, negative 1, and q must be an integer factor of the leading coefficient, 1. This means the possible values for p are plus or minus 1. And the possible values for q are plus or minus 1. Thus, the only possible rational roots are, x equals plus or minus 1. It's easy to check that, 1 is a solution of the equation, but negative 1 is not. So, the left-hand side of equation 1, can be written as, x minus 1, times p6 of x. Where, p6 of x, is a polynomial of degree 6, which is the quotient, when the left-hand side of equation 1, a degree 7 polynomial is divided by x minus 1. p6 of x can be found using synthetic division. Set up the synthetic division, by writing root 1, followed by the coefficients, 1, 2, negative 5, negative 7, 7, 5, negative 2, negative 1. Bring down the leading coefficient 1. Multiply the root 1, by the brought down number 1, right under the next coefficient. Add vertically, 2 plus 1 equals 3. Then, repeat the process. Multiply the root 1 by 3, which is 3. Negative 5 plus 3, is equal to, negative 2. Multiply the root 1 by negative 2, which is negative 2. Negative 7 plus negative 2, is equal to, negative 9. Multiply the root 1 by negative 9, which is negative 9. 7 plus negative 9, is equal to, negative 2. Multiply the root 1 by negative 2, which is negative 2. 5 plus negative 2, is equal to 3. Multiply the root 1 by 3, which is 3. Negative 2 plus 3, is equal to 1. Multiply the root 1 by 1, which is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is equal to zero. The last entry in the bottom row, is the remainder. The other numbers in the bottom row, are coefficients of the polynomial of degree 6, p6 of x. So p6 of x, equals x to the power of 6, plus 3x to the power of 5, minus 2x to the power of 4, minus 9x cubed, minus 2x squared, plus 3x plus 1. And we label the equation, p6 of x equals 0, as equation 2. As x does not equal 0, so we divide the equation by x cubed. Then, equation 2 becomes, x cubed, plus 3x squared, minus 2x, minus 9, minus 2 over x, plus 3 over x squared, plus 1 over x cubed, equals 0. Rearrange the equation, we have, x cubed, plus 1 over x cubed, plus 3 times, x squared plus 1 over x squared, minus 2 times, x plus 1 over x, minus 9, equals 0. And we label this as equation 3. Now, we let y equal x plus 1 over x. Then, y squared equals x squared, plus 1 over x squared, plus 2. So, x squared, plus 1 over x squared, equals y squared minus 2. We know that, a plus b all cubed, is equal to, a cubed, plus b cubed, plus 3ab, times a plus b. So, by applying this, y cubed, equals x plus 1 over x all cubed, which is equal to, x cubed, plus 1 over x cubed, plus 3 times x, times 1 over x, times x plus 1 over x. So, x cubed, plus 1 over x cubed, equals y cubed, minus 3y. Now substitute x plus 1 over x, x squared plus 1 over x squared, and x cubed plus 1 over x cubed, into equation 3, we have, y cubed, minus 3y, plus 3 times y squared minus 2, minus 2y minus 9, equals 0. Simplify the equation by collecting the like terms, we have, y cubed, plus 3y squared, minus 5y, minus 15, equals 0. y cubed, 
plus 3 y squared can be factored as y squared times y plus 3. Negative 5 y minus 15 can be factored as negative 5 times y plus 3. Now the two terms have a common factor y plus 3, so they can be factored as y plus 3 times y squared minus 5. So the equation becomes y plus 3 times y squared minus 5 equals 0. So, either y equals negative 3, or y equals root 5, or y equals negative root 5. Note that, y equals x plus 1 over x. The problem is divided into three cases. Case 1, x plus 1 over x, equals negative 3. Case 2, x plus 1 over x, equals root 5. Case 3, x plus 1 over x, equals negative root 5. For case 1, multiply the equation by x, and rearrange the equation, we have, x squared, plus 3x, plus 1, equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. To solve for x, we apply the quadratic formula. x equals negative b, plus or minus root of, b squared, minus 4ac, over 2a. For this equation, the coefficients are, a equals 1, b equals 3, and c equals 1. So, x equals negative 3 plus or minus root 5, over 2. For case 2, multiply the equation by x, and rearrange the equation, we have, x squared, minus root 5x, plus 1, equals 0. The coefficients of this quadratic equation are, a equals 1, b equals negative root 5, and c equals 1. So, x equals root 5, plus or minus 1, over 2. For case 3, multiply the equation by x, and rearrange the equation, we have, x squared, plus root 5x, plus 1, equals 0. The coefficients of this quadratic equation are, a equals 1, b equals root 5, and c equals 1. So, x equals negative root 5, plus or minus 1, over 2. Including the root x equals 1, the equation has a total of 7 real roots.